hope that you're doing well. It is so nice to chat with you. Um, I've been kind of looking forward to this. I was hoping to make more videos this week, but life has been a little hectic, as I'm sure you can all relate to. So today we're going to just quickly go over the Disney's Hollywood Studios Tower of Terror and the like accessibility. I look more at the mobility options as far as how accessible it is for someone in a wheelchair. However, if you have questions regarding any kind of accessibility, please feel free to comment below and if I don't have the answer, I will do my best to find the answer for you. I would also really appreciate it if you'd like or subscribe. Um, it just, if anything else, it's just kind of a little ray of sunshine for my day. So thank you so much and I hope that I can help in some way. So. When my family and I went on our last trip to Disney World, it was a combined trip, Disney World and Hollywood Studios, we um, did have to use a wheelchair. And one of the rides that we used the wheelchair for was Hollywood Studios Tower of Terror. I had never been on the ride before myself. Um, I don't know why. I think because we had been to Disney World before, but my daughter was so young, I think she was too short the last time we went. Now she is a preteen and plenty tall enough, so it was like the perfect opportunity. I also think the fact that you hear people screaming as you enter is a little overwhelming. And um, I don't know, I just, it never really called to me. I, when, when I hear screaming, I don't think, oh my God, I need to go there. So that being said, we, um, it was the ride that my daughter was very excited about. <laughs> go figure. Um, and she was the one in the chair. So I can tell you right off the bat that it does not matter if you are in the lightning lane or the fast pass lane. Both um, queues are ramped, but it is a very steep ramp. So if you're in a manual chair, just have those brakes ready. Have your, um, let's say, excuse that. That's why we, when we have kids, things, I'm like, well, what is that in the background? Anyway, um, so the ramp kind of steep, just going to say that the queue lines are wide enough for a chair. Um, as far as how steep is the ramp, I was the one that pushed the chair up the ramp and, um, or the incline because the, the tower is on like on kind of a hillish terrain and you know, you just keep the brakes set ready and you see it coming and you know, so it's not awful. You just got to be prepared. And that's pretty much the theme of every video is like, if you're prepared, I don't think that there are many things that you can't handle. Uh, so that being said, queue is very workable. You don't have to transfer in the queue. You can see the entire queue, which is great. Um, you can go right on in, you can go into the pre-show in your chair, no issues whatsoever. When you pull up to the vehicle, if you cannot transfer, like if you can't get up and walk a few steps, you just tell them. They will load you last. So if you can walk, you, they may put you up in the back a little bit or off to the side a little bit. But if you're like, if you genuinely, you can transfer, you can pivot, that's what you can do, that's fine. They can make it work for you. So you will be in the front row though, okay? So the ride loads from back to front and just so you're aware, where you load is not where you unload. We had no problems when we got off. Our chair was there waiting for us. Everything was perfect. And this, that's pretty much the theme with Disney. I, I did not have to hunt down our chair in Disney World for any ride. When we got off, it was right where they had said it was going to be. I mean, most, most of the rides, they just said, don't worry, your chair will be there. And it was. So that's glorious because our Hollywood Studios, um, exper not experiment, our, our Hollywood Studios experience was not the same as that. We did have to hunt down for the, hunt the chair down. So, um, that being said, you pull right up to the ride, you, um, can kind of pivot in, sit in, and then you're, you're there. Um, you do have to transfer out of a chair. They don't have like a spot open for you to tie down or anything. So you do have to be able to tra transfer. Um, I 
will tell you there is a seat belt. The ride, at first, you just kind of are going along in the elevator with the scary people. Uh, they pop up and have you, like uh, the images of them or holograms. I don't know what they would be. Um, but then you get to the drop portion. If you cannot hold your head upright or don't have a solid core, like if you, if you are in any way unable to hold yourself upright, um, this probably is not a good choice for you. You will drop and every drop sequence is different. So every ride, every ride is going to be different. We went on it twice. First time we went down, back up and down again and that was it. It was, but the second time we did a whole crazy drop sequence. It was awesome, but you will float out of your chair. That seatbelt, that's why they, they like triple check your seatbelts. Um, and when they were doing them, I'm like, this is kind of overkill. It's not overkill. Like they triple check your seatbelts and they, I mean, you fly up out of that chair. Um, it was kind of amazing actually. So that being said, if you are a person that can, does not have a strong center or the ability to hold yourself upright, um, you're, you, this again is probably not a good option for you. I would, I would tell you watch a POV, but the problem is, is the up and down and up and down is all in the dark. So you're not going to be able to really feel or tell or sense what the people in the ride are kind of going through other than hearing the woo and the screaming. Um, but when it pushes you back up, you force back down into your seat. And then when it, it it's like some crazy pulley system, it's not just a drop. And when you go down, you fly up. So, and it's like I said, repeated. Um, so that's just, you need to be aware of that. That would be my big thing is like, just as a concern, transferring is easy. The queue is easy. Um, if you, if your family wants to ride it and you're like, ah, it's not for me, go through the queue. You can go through the pre-show and, um, I don't see why not. Right. Um, I mean, unless, unless that's kind of not your thing, the, the queue itself is kind of creepy. I'm not a twilight, twilight zone person, but it was sort of neat to see like, just how they set the stage, the theming behind everything. I sort of love theming and it is themed very well. So that being said, um, if you have any questions related to it outside of, outside of what I've covered, please feel free to comment below. I'll do the best I can. Again, um, as far as mobility, ramps are great. Ride vehicles, easy to pull your chair up to. You will be put in the front row, so you just kind of have to, to be able to maybe take a couple steps and pivot, nothing huge. And the seats are not low or really low, the seats are not really high. So it's a pretty easy transfer, but the, the, the drop is where I think a lot of people may have issue. So um, that being said, thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye! <laughs>